poolside vacation, a beach, you name it, it works. It looks great on Trudell. He's also rocking. Trudell back here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the vlog. I'm just gonna get right into it. This is gonna be my second episode. I'm finally getting my first episode done that I think I started filming like weeks ago. But to be completely honest and transparent, my living situation before this, I just moved to Best Sides to my friend Jordan's crib. It was a bit chaotic. <laughs> I lived right by the train, it was super loud, I had two roommates, so I didn't really have that much like peace and quiet to just like film and kind of do this. But Jordan works days, I work nights. So like right now, I have a crib to myself. I'm sitting here editing the video that you're watching right now, and it's because I have the creative space to do so. It's just kind of been like a good setup here so far. So yeah, so this is the second episode. So I'm gonna head to the gym today. I'm off today. I work tomorrow, bartending and modeling during the day. Or my model during the day, and then I work at night. But you know, we're excited. We're thankful for it. I'll probably try to get some footage of me heading to the gym. We're going to this cool gym in the city. There's a bunch of locations, and one of them has like a pool and like a hot tub situation, like ice cold plunge bath and I need it cause I've just been super sore. Um, so I'm gonna get that done. I need a new backpack as well. My family got me some uh, gift cards from Urban Outfitters. Thank you, Auntie Thamla and my sister Sharon. Uh, so I'm gonna get a new backpack. Yeah. And new videos, man. Coming soon. excited to be getting videos out. Let's get it. Yo, I had to just go back in the house because it just felt a little too moist outside. So I take the weather and I'm like, boom, it's gonna rain. Like, I did not have to deal with rain in LA, bro. Even though I think it's flooding right there right now because they, they got rain, which they never get. But yeah, let's grab an umbrella. It's like three o'clock, so let's start raining at five. So I will probably get caught in it at some point. But yeah, man, weather in New York has definitely been the battle for sure. Like, it's super cold. It's just always changing. It's definitely a factor, um, but I'm just pushing through it because other than that, I'm really loving New York, honestly. It's been sick, the energy's been sick. There's just a hustle mentality, everybody's getting to it. Um, so, we're getting to it. such a new experience to have something on my head again. I've been wrapping it up at night, putting product in it, just like. I don't know. I told my agents today that I'm gonna grow it out. They were like, oh, like let us know when it gets to the desired length. And I was like, truthfully, <laughs> I'm gonna keep growing it until like, I either get braids or get dreadlocks, so there is no desire length. We'll see what happens. But really enjoying like the whole process of like taking care of it, wrapping it up at night, putting products in it. Like it's been dope. I just had like a gig and it was so quick. <laughs> like literally. I don't even know if I can talk about it, so I guess I won't. But whatever, I'm in the city. I have to work at five. My bartending gig. I'm already free. I might shoot back home. I'm on like 34th Street. 
New York City! I want to stop by this place called Cutlets. It's like chicken cutlets. It looks pretty good. So, follow me there. care if I picked my hair out so it's a little big or whatever or small but big but small anyway I'm gonna have this like random tip of the chair so I've been doing this thing this year where like, I don't argue if I just, you know what I mean like if I just feel like I know my truth I know what I believe I know what's right and we just differ I'm not gonna argue with you I'm just gonna be all right cool like you know let's agree to disagree or whatever Furthermore, if I've had a few arguments or conversations with you and I've deemed that you're either not that smart or just like a narcissist maybe, <laughs> or just, you know what I mean? Just something's wrong. It's a waste of my time to argue or go back and forth with you because there's some people who, they don't even have conversations. They just talk at you. They just want to keep talking to get their point across, but they don't actually want to, they don't actually listen to hear what you have to say. So it's not even really a conversation and it's really a complete waste of your time unless you just want to hear that person talk. Um, okay, I meant to put this example into the speech. It's not in there, so I'm gonna come now from the present, me editing this video and give it to you. This is like, there's an example of someone like, say you're, it's raining outside. You're outside, it's raining, you can feel it raining. If someone comes up to you and like, oh, it's not raining, you're not gonna argue with them. You know, maybe if you just feel like entertaining them, it's like, hey, are you dumb? Do you not feel the rain? But like people will literally try to get you to believe their misconceptions, their lies. And it's just like, it's a waste of your time. It's a complete uttermost waste of your time. And if you know your truth, there's no need to defend it. So this is what I'm talking about here. So there are people that, you know I mean, like, like that that I've been having to interact with more and more. And I'm just like, I've gotten to a point where I'm not, I'm, I'm not arguing with you. I'm not going back and forth with you. I'm just going to move accordingly. Or like, even if it means me just like avoiding you and just like lit. I'm gonna keep conversation to a bare minimum. I'm not gonna waste my energy, my time, going back and forth with a person. And I, I've just really implemented that this year. And it's been so nice, you know what I mean? And like, I'm finding myself like, not, I don't wanna say like being right, but just like in better situations or in better energy or better vibes because I decided to remove myself or distance myself from people who I just like could not see eye to eye with. Like there's no point in trying to convince or change a person, like just change the situation. There's that quote, like, uh, if you know, like you're arguing with a fool from far away, people just see two fools arguing. So it's just like, I'm not doing it. You know, <laughs> I'm just not doing it. I'm probably gonna hit you with a like, that's wild or just, that's it. But yeah, so that has helped me. I just want to share that. thing called Macy's Live where they basically just do looks with Macy's customers. So like I have on like shorts, and, like a polo shirt. Basically I'm doing uh, summer looks right now and like it's like a live segment that goes on Macy's. So yeah I'll put the clip from the live later but it's live so we're just like sitting up here beforehand. If you want to style this all black pair of uh, swim trunks from Calvin Klein, you could just add a striped button down and a loafer. Then you are set and ready to sail off into the sunset. So let us know in the chat, which color are you leaning more towards? All right, that ends this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to end it with a clip of uh, my boy Drake cutting my hair. He used to cut me in Chicago and now he cuts me here in New York. You got to blonde barber, but this is a clip of him cutting me at his spot in Chinatown. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I got another one coming next week, and uh, excited to be back.